up everybody tweets here in this video i'm going to show you how to create your own private test server um it'll be an offline LAN server it'll run just like a regular server um and so you can test your mods fully on this it's a lot better than using um, daisy editor to test or offline mode this way it runs just like a regular server and you can fully test everything because offline and editor you are limited so what you're going to first do is you're going to go into your library in steam click on all make sure you have tools and software toggled and then you're going to show everything that you have go to daisy section and install daisy server once that is installed go to manage browse local files and now it'll bring up this stuff here what i usually do is i um i start the server dz i give it my name now you'll see verify signatures by default is two you want to change that to zero so this way it won't require the keys or buy signs this way you can test your mod without publishing it to the workshop um, once you have that just save it after that you're going to create new folders two new folders one called lods and another called profiles once you have that you can start adding the mods that you need so i usually right click on daisy browse local files make sure you have view hidden files toggled so you can see workshop you can probably get it from dz sal too but now i'm just only going to add cf so you just copy it from there and paste it in your daisy server section and I'm going to add VPP admin tools and paste. Then I'm going to create another new folder. Call it at test inside there, new folder, add-ons. And that's where you're going to slap your PBOs in the test that you're testing. Um, now you're going to bring up, I have here, this is going to create a bat file to launch everything. Um, I will have this in the description so you can use as a sample. So first you're going to see CD here, path to daisy server.exe. So inside those quotes right here, you're going to go to your daisy server. At the top, get the path, paste it inside the quotes. Now, you don't come all the way to the end, you'll see profiles equals path to profiles. So you don't go open up your new profiles folder that you made, get the path to that. And then after the equals, paste it. And then Come down here, you'll see profile equals path to logs. So go back to your server, go inside logs, get the path, paste it in there in the quotes. Once you have that, you'll see right here, mod equals, you're going to start adding your mods. So I'm going to start with CF. I'm going to right click on it, rename it, copy. Right after the equals, paste, and then a semicolon. VPP admin tools, same thing, copy it. Paste, semicolon, and then test, copy, paste, semicolon. Once you have all of that, you're going to save it as. So go to your uh, daily server, so C, 
for me it's C. Program files eighty six. Steam, Steam apps common Daisy server. Now you don't know save as type all types. Run dot b a t save. Now that you have all that done, I'm just gonna get a uh, PBO. I'm just gonna take it from one of my mods to show you that uh, you don't need an add uh, a key or anything. So I'll just take it from one of my mods. And I'll just use one of my billboards. I'll add it in my test here. There we go. And then I'll hit run. Double click on run. Hmm. Now we're just going to let it run its thing here. Now it's all popping up. You can minimize this stuff here. Bring up Steam. Go on Daisy. Now here you're gonna have to go to mods before you do anything. Local mod. Now let me remove it from here because I already removed it. Local mod. You're gonna go to your server. So for me, it's in my C drive. So program files. Eighty six. Steam. Oh, sorry. Steam. Steam apps, common, server, test, select it, and then it will add, and then you'll just find it in your, it'll add it anyways, then you'll see it in your mod list. You just scroll down, there it is, right there. So then once you add it, you just go to servers, LAN, and you'll see that your server's painting join you'll see your mods and then the top setup and join and then you just wait and load in um well that's loading i'm not going to have access to my admin tools so i didn't do it but before you do it once you launch your server shut it down and then you'll see your files generated in the profiles where you can start editing like your uh, permissions for VBP and add your uh, your admin, your Steam ID and stuff, and then your credentials for your password. And then restart your server back up. And then you'll be able to have admin powers. I won't have any admin abilities because I didn't do that yet. But just, just to show you the process, and this is just showing you that it works and yeah it's the best way to test without having to publish your mod to the workshop add it to a test server like that um, or it's better than going offline mode or through daisy editor also because this way you get a fully functioning server there's no limitations, and you can fully test your mod and sell it this way. Um, I find it to be a lifesaver when it comes to testing. But yeah, don't, as you see, I'm loading in. My computer's a little slow, but uh, that's pretty much it. I will have a copy of that sample bat file, so you can just go from there. And uh, yeah, hope this helps. Until then. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.